So we saw how to fit the face onto our characters, how to arrange the orientation in the profile, but now we want to get down to more specific details. First, go to the detailed facial mode located at the top bar. Now we have more points to be more precise. So first, let's zoom in closer to the eyes and take a look. Notice before we were very close, but we were not perfect. So let's go ahead and adjust the points to fit the eyes better. One important tip, when placing these specific points, it's very important to keep in mind the space between the eyes and the control point. Later, when we add in virtual eyes and eye magic, if these points are too close to the eyes, we'll cause the eye magic to have smaller spaces to apply. This is not detrimental to your project, but it's something you might want to keep in mind while placing the points. Next, take a look at the mouth. In this example, the mouth is closed. However, in this example, the woman's mouth is open. So to adjust for this, we can select open mouth and have additional points that we can use to fit around the lips. There is another way to adjust for open lips by forcing the mouth to close, and I will demonstrate that technique later in this tutorial. For this example, notice the soldier has a hat on his head. We can move the full hair mesh to compensate for such a large hat. And since we are using detailed facial mode, we have more points to accurately encompass the hat. Next, let's add eyes to our model. So let's open the eye settings and we can choose an eye from any of these templates. I will go into more detail later about eye parameters in the custom facial features vivid eyes tutorial. But I want to show you now that there are five categories of eyes. Each category has tons of templates to choose from to get the right eye that you're looking for. And here's a cool feature to test if the eyes are what you expect. We can press preview and move our mouse around inside the program to demo the eyes. Next, let's look at teeth. Go to mouth settings and open the panel. Since all of our models can speak, we want them to have teeth to show off. Just like with the eyes, there are many templates we can choose from. I will go into more detail about mouth parameters in the custom facial features mouth tutorial. But I would like to show you one tip about lips. Earlier I showed you one way to compensate for open mouths. Here's the other technique. We can check the box forced to close and Crazy Talk 6 will automatically close the mouth of our character if you use the open lip settings. Now your character will have proper face, eye and mouth animation that looks realistic.